Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop. I've got a little surprise in store for you today. Take a look in the background. I've just received my new uh, universal milling machine. Let's grab the camera and take a look. And here it is, here's my new little baby. It's my little universal mill. It's got a BT30 or an ISO 30 spindle uh, in the vertical head and an ISO 30 in the horizontal head in here as well. Sorry about the background noise at the moment. I've got my rotary phase inverter running to show you guys it in action. Um, there's a two speed switch up the top here. We can put it in low speed. And it's very, very quiet, the uh, vertical spindle. We'll speed that up. Belt drive on the head here. Nice and quiet. We'll turn that off. We've also got the brake up the top here to brake it. Now, this milling machine was made in Taiwan back in the day. It's fairly old. It was sold in Australia via a company called. Uh, Hafco, so it was sold under the brand called Hurlis uh, out, out here in Melbourne, down here in Melbourne I should say and it's quite a nice little machine um, I'm quite happy with it I've, I got this off my friend Greg uh, Greg's got numerous machines over in his workshop and he uh, happily decided to part with this one now over the back here you can see it has two motors in it, two electric motors. This is to drive the horizontal spindle. I need a new belt here. But what we'll do, we'll shut that and just see if we can start it up. All right, so we'll turn on the horizontal spindle for you. So, this gear train's a little bit noisy in there, but I might get in here and drop that oil. It's pretty black looking and uh, put some fresh oil in there. Alrighty, so roughly guys, I paid about a thousand dollars for this machine. Um, it also came with a vice, let me show you over here. And there's the vice for it. So that's handy, I've got a, a vice to throw straight on the machine. Uh, as you can see, my wall is slowly filling up. I've got machines everywhere here at the moment. Now, what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to relocate my rotary phase inverter which is over here. So I've come up the side of the CNC milling machine here to give you a better look. And uh, this is my big air compressor. And what I'll do, I, I purpose, actually I purposely bought this air compressor to run my CNC in my workshop. Um, no doubt you might have seen on my other channel, this is my big CNC milling machine. It's a Silex 7. I, I don't do any CNC on this channel. I do that on my other channel called DCT you can check that out another time that's the mill there but I need to get all this stuff back over here against the wall and move the grinder down so over in this corner what I was talking about there's my rotary phase it will slot in here where the compressor is then the compressor will lift up on top of a second shelf and I'll tie that down so it can't fall well that does it for today's video just a little quick video just to show you what I'm up to in the shop for Aaron engineering and uh, some of you may say, you know, why do you want a manual machine when you've got a CNC milling machine sitting beside you? And uh, to be honest with you, I really still love manual machining and uh, have done so since I was a young bloke. Um, there's lots of things I can do on this milling machine, especially now that it's got a horizontal spindle as well, okay? 
and I envisage taking, you know, taking on better projects in here as well. Um, anyway, uh, you may have noticed in the video I don't have the handle for this end. So Greg's still trying to find the automatic feed for that. Um, now the problem is Greg had this CNC controlled and I didn't want another CNC mill, I wanted a manual machine. So Greg had to decommission the CNC, put all the handles back on. But he's still trying to find the power feed, so uh, watch this space guys, alright? Thanks again for following along and uh, we'll catch you on the next uh, Aaron Engineering video. Cheers, bye bye.